Blessings, my brothers and sisters, your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. I hope you're being blessed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Happy Friday. Hope you had a great week. I just, I'm here in Tampa. I'm preaching in Tampa. Uh, I preached I preach yesterday, today, this evening. I preached Saturday and Sunday, and then I'm flying back out. But I wanted to reach out to you today. I haven't been on Facebook for a little bit. I haven't been on Instagram for a little bit. And I haven't been on uh, YouTube for a little bit. But I, I have a I have a word that I want to share with you today, a word from the Lord. And I think a lot of I think this is gonna edify you. I think it's gonna bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I believe spiritual warfare has a lot of contents to it. A lot of spiritual warfare has a lot of definition to it. A lot of time we think spiritual warfare is manifestation. So people being demons coming out of people, yes, that is true. That has a lot to do with it. But also there's another spiritual warfare that we as Christians, we undermine, or we don't see it. We 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 don't we take it lightly, and uh, we it's very believable. This kind of spiritual warfare, and I just want to share this moment with you. And uh, I believe that there's a lot of spiritual warfare that there's people that the enemy sends to shape your life to to to, to try to form your life and man so so we have to be careful about that spiritual warfare who speaks into your life who's trying to shape your life because you know someone someone uh, you know it's the holy spirit's job to transform you it's the holy spirit's job job to to to, to put you to the fire it's the holy spirit's job to, to refine you. The refiner's fire is the Holy Spirit, that he refines you, he puts you to the fire, he, he shapes you, Holy Spirit. My job as a believer is to edify you, to edify what you got, to, to encourage what you got. To, 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 it, it, it is a place that is a, thing, is a spiritual thin line that sometimes people speak into your life and they say, oh, I'm prophetic, or I heard a word from the Lord, or I feel this in my spirit about you. And you have to be very careful, you know, you can hear it, but don't own it. Take it to the Lord. Take it to prayer. Because a lot of Christians, I've seen a lot of Christians had fallen out of the faith. I've seen a lot of Christians had quit, given up. Because they said, well, some prophet person told me this and never came to pass. And I was praying and I was asking God, you know, show me, put me in ministry. Or bless me with this promotion. Or give me this. Or get me married. And that person, was he was trying to shape your life. But it was it's more like deforming your life because it was in God was not in that situation and you received it and you ran with it and and you ran a race that God was not even there you were running on a lane that God never told you run up that avenue God never told you run up that street amen so you you we we you know the devil has a lot of mouthpieces in the church you know that 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 it, it, it's trying to bring into your life a a, 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 a deform. A deformation in your life instead of edification in your life instead of edifying you instead of instead of you see holy spirit get, holy spirit builds you up amen holy spirit brings you to the fire holy spirit refines you amen to, to bring you to the place that god wants you to be to god's perfect will in your life amen so so i i want to share that because a lot of times you know i see the discouragement on people's face well i was supposed to be in full-time ministry God called me to be an evangelist. God called me to be a pastor. You know, I don't know why why God haven't responded. Why God haven't answered. And then you get upset. You get disappointed. You get discouraged with God. You know, you get angry with God. And and just because you heard a voice, you heard someone's opinions, you heard someone's uh, ideas of what your life's supposed to be like, or what your life's supposed to be. And 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 and, and it's true. Sometimes people have good intentions, and I don't take those good intentions away from people. But I also know. That the devil will use good intentions to divert you, to divert you, to bring diversion into your life, to bring hindering, delay, blockages into your life. That spiritual warfare. We we need to understand that you don't be don't let that be an entrapment to your purpose and your destiny. That's why I teach these courses on spiritual warfare to understand the things of the spirit, to understand how the Holy Spirit works, to understand how the enemy comes and disguises and masquerade himself and in, into your life, amen. To a friendship, uh, to a person, to a family member, to a pastor, to a prophet, then you have to un unmask unmask these things you know to understand is god is there is god speaking to me you know one, one of the things one of the scriptures that i use uh, david was in sin for about a year uh when he committed murder he committed adultery and and david didn't repent so so god brought up the prophet nathan to speak to david and and david was so delusional that he didn't even understand that the prophet was speaking directly to him he said well show me the guy and we'll kill this person 
And the prophet said, the guy is you. You know, and, and God will bring someone into your life at, at moments of your life if you're not uh, submitting or you're not being obedient and, and you're living in a rebelling way of, of a lifestyle. God will send someone to speak into your life. That's a different story. You know, that's a different avenue. But, you know, this is the key. That's why I thank God for the for the e-courses that I put up there. I put the link. Sign up for the e-course. Be trained. Be armed and dangerous. Be wise. You know, be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove, the Bible says. Be be be, be, filled, with, no, be filled with the Holy Spirit, but be filled with spiritual warfare. So when people come into your life, you know that, is, that this is a, a bottomless. God sent to encourage me. This is the David. You know, God sent a Jonathan to bless me. But understand that the person that God sent is to edify you. Iron sharpens iron, but not to shape you. The only person that can shape you is the Holy Spirit. The only person that can shape you is the Holy Spirit. You know, I can edify you. I, I, I can encourage you. You know, I, I can be a David in your life. I can be a Jonathan in your life. But it's the Holy Spirit that does the work, the refining the shaping, the molding. It's the Holy Spirit that does these things. Amen? You understand these things. Understand the things of the Spirit. Understand these things are important at all. And your walk with God. That's why a lot of Christians are like so far behind their walk. Because, you know, they heard a word from someone. They heard some advice from someone. They, they heard someone speak into their life because the person said he heard from the Lord or he had a word in his spirit or whatever. That You know, be careful with that kind of spiritual warfare. And that's, that's a dangerous spiritual warfare because that's like, I call that the silent spiritual warfare. I call that the silent spiritual warfare that comes into people's lives. Amen. And, and this is the spiritual warfare that, that is dangerous, you know, because it's subtle. You know, it's subtle. It comes disguised. It's come, it comes masquerade into people's lives. And before you know it, you know, I'm sure you met a brother or sister that was on fire for the Lord. And they're, they're no longer in the church anymore. They have backslid. They have left the faith. They have walked away from the things of God. And you ask yourself, why, why would this person with so much at one time, they were on fire for the Lord. They were sold out for Jesus Christ because they had an interruption in their life. They had a bump on the road in their life. And, and, and this is the key of that bump in the road, the interruption. You know, they had hindering, delay, blockages because they allow someone to get close. And, and I'm not saying isolate yourself either. But use wisdom. God said use wisdom in everything that you do. Godly wisdom, godly discernment that we need in our lives to walk, to have what God has for us. And this is, I share this with you because I'm, I, I want your life to count. I want your life to be, to be edified. I want your life to be shaped by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I hope this helped you today. I hope you sign up for the e-course. The link is up there because I need to share these things with you. Because the spiritual warfare, there's different manifestations a deliverance and spiritual warfare, amen. And 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 these and and the ones that are quiet, the ones that come settle, the ones that come like a ninja, you know, stealth into your life. You don't realize it until until you and, until they hit you. You so far gone, and then you realize what that person was saying to me, or or this person was trying to uh, speak into my life. It was never the Lord Jesus Christ. It was the enemy, sounding like an angel of light. And we have to be very high alert. Another thing I want to share with you before before I get off this thing, you know, I'm I'm calling this thing called battle cry, and and I'm calling a battle cry for the nations. I'm calling a battle cry for your state. I'm calling a battle cry for your neighborhood, for your community. You know, one thing I want to ask believers, you know, and and for the for the United States, we need we know there's vultures and crows in D.C. We you know, but we have the power and the authority to pray. And you should be praying for your country. You should be praying for your state. And if you are uh, an international person, a believer, you should be praying for your country. Because, you know, there's a, there should be a battle cry. There should be the way the Nehemiahs of the church that would stand on the wall and built the, built the kingdom for Jesus and fight the devil with the other hand. That's another thing that I'm asking people. Whatever state you find yourself, lift up your state in prayer. Live, intercede for your state. Believe God for your state. I mean, your state is, is your neighborhood. It, it, it is the place that God put you in. Someone have to handle it spiritually. And I'm going to start handling my state spiritually. I'm going to start praying. And I'm calling for a battle cry to pray so we can destroy the crows and we can destroy the vultures that are trying to eat up this country. And it's not a Republican thing. It's not a Democrat thing. 
is a revival thing, that we want a revival to come to America, that will shake the foundations of America and your country, wherever you find yourself, and people will get saved, healed, and delivered because you were the voice of, you were the, you were the John the Baptist in the wilderness crying out. You were, you were the Pauls, you were the Silas, you were the Timothys, amen? You were the Deborahs and the Esthers that stood in the gap for many people to know Jesus Christ because they are walking blindfolded. They are walking blind into the pit called hell. But you could turn these people around by the battle cry of your heart. And when God had the battle cry of your heart, he will show up in your region. He will show up in your community. He will show up in your neighborhood. Let that be your story. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Love you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to share a moment with you. And I hope you sign up for the e-course. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.